moving over here. Better lighting, I totally agree. Hey guys, welcome back to the Strong Sisters YouTube channel. Happy Wednesday. In this video, we're going to share a little bit about what we do when we're sick. So this is the first time that one of us has been like really, really sick while on a carnivore diet. Since we're not going to be eating like crackers or like Panera soup bowls and those bread bowls that sound really good though. Since we're not going to be having that today, we're going to share some of the natural remedies that we're doing to help fix say say She has some sort of like flu cold thing. <clears throat> In fact, today I'm going to make her some duck noodle soup, okay? So that requires me making another batch of bone broth. So again, using our full chicken bone broth. I'm going to show you guys. So this guy, not much swag. See? No, not much swag. This guy, very much swag. And then some chicken feeties, of course, and then the full laying hen. So we're going to get this started. And then I am gonna head to the gym this morning. Say, so say, it's not gonna head to the gym because the gym is just filled with a bunch more germs. And we want her to heal as fast as possible. It's just so that she can get back in the gym as fast as possible. So I'm going to go get my angel wing lift on. <laughs> mixture of strength and hypertrophy my favorite kind of lifts was a little weird being there by myself filming myself probably chopped off my head most of the time but now i'm gonna head home and check on say say and the doggo <clears throat> so this is day two of feeling like poop and honestly getting sick has been a really good reminder that i should never take my health for granted ashley and i it's like she said earlier in the video both haven't really gotten sick since going carnivore i had laryngitis a few months ago once but it lasted like two days <laughs> So this, <laughs> this has just been, this knocked me on my booty. I don't like being out of commission. I'm sure like if you're active too, you hate just sitting down all day, but it was a good reminder to rest and focus on other things. So I am just gonna share some of the natural remedies that I have been using to help myself feel better and hopefully overcome this cold flu, whatever's going on like tomorrow, by tomorrow, because I'm about dumb. I've about had it with this 
I think that Ashley and I are very typical millennials and our mom when we were younger would take care of us when we were sick and so now that we are out living on our own we are like helpless children when anything goes wrong so like there I am texting my mom mommy I feel like I'm getting sick what do I do so I don't like I don't handle these things by myself so um, this is like a journey to become a woman essentially first tip is going to be have somebody else make you soup it instantly makes you feel better so that's what, that's what Ashley's doing and we're going to show you the carnivore duck noodle soup that we're making that will be part of our platter at number one Ashley wants to do a little expanding on tip number one expand away so I think it's important to consider like Sarah's throat hurts so she only wants to I'm gonna uh, go to the other side she only wants to consume food that like makes her throat feel good and steak is a little bit hard to swallow um, so therefore relying on a lot of broth but keep in mind that broth itself is not a complete protein so it doesn't have all the essential amino acids it's super high in collagen so you need to make sure that you're incorporating some other muscle meat, especially if you're super active in the gym. So that's why I'm making this duck soup, so that way we can get all of the required amino acids that she needs by having the duck breasts themselves as well. The duck breasts. Is. So on that note, let's just talk about some nutrients. So it's always a good idea to get a lot of nutrients in general, and then when you're sick especially. So duck is semi high in zinc but other things that are high in zinc there's been a lot of studies that demonstrate that zinc helps you get past the common cold or flu a little bit quicker I don't know how accurate they are but I mean why not other items high in zinc is actually beef like chuck roast and mollusks are really high in zinc but I'm not really I just don't want a mollusk right now um, eggs are pretty high in zinc so I'll definitely be eating some eggs so incorporating items that are higher in nutrients like broth beef Liver. I would, I'm still gonna have some liver today. Eggs are a great option. Um, you want to expand? So duck. It, I think it's gonna be easier for her to swallow, right? Yeah, yeah. So yesterday I like mistakenly had a bunch of chuck roast, and after the meal, like my my lymph nodes were like sore from trying to chew through it. So I definitely today I'm gonna focus on things that are a little bit easier to chew through and then digest. So, so poultry is a little bit softer, yeah. but duck relative to chicken so it's duck month for us just as a reminder um, duck has lower omega-6 so the lower uh, amount of inflammatory omegas and I think that that's another important point is to keep like inflammatory foods yeah, we low don't want any your more inflammation too. and another item I will be eating is this I don't know about this brand our friend sent us this good friend um, cod liver in its own oil so cod liver itself is very high in vitamins A and D and I'm also going to continue with my supplementation of vitamin D. So this is currently the only supplement that we take, exogenous vitamin D. It's, we live- We don't get any sun. We live in the Midwest in the winter, especially like we are not in the sun. Yeah. So we do not get enough sun, not enough vitamin D. So this is what we take. I'm going to double my dosage today. So normally I'm taking 5,000 5, IU. I'm probably gonna take 10,000 IU today and then just get the rest of my nutrients from my food. So let's summarize some carnivore foods that sound okay or like that seem okay for your throat yes okay broth yep especially this duck noodle soup that we're going to show you poultry uh, poultry especially ducks. it's a little bit easier to chew for the protein soft scrambled eggs excellent and good nutrients in the yolk or raw yolks cod liver in its own oil is very easy to eat it's very soft I didn't have that many issues with raw suet last night chewing through it granted i like heated it slightly so it was more melty um, foods that I didn't enjoy eating so far was the chalk is too chewy. So there's a little summary of foods on carnivore. Or I guess this could just be tip number two in general. You could literally just fast while you're sick. A lot of people have great results doing this and fasting is great for health in general. But personally for me, I don't want to be losing any weight right now. I have gym we're goals. In, we're in a bulking phase. I want to get back to the gym. A F A P <laughs> as fast as possible, so I am not going to fast this entire time. But I haven't eaten, and it's like one o'clock now, so let's make mini one. fasting. So we're gonna show you what we're making. So for the duck noodle soup, all I'm doing is heating up some broth in the pot, and then I've separated out the duck skin. And come here. The meat. So this is like the duck breast, super juicy and tender. So we're gonna eat this later. And then I've got more of the tougher cuts for both of Sarah and I to eat. So I'm going to put the Sarah tougher and cuts. me. 
tougher cuts and the skin that I chopped up into little noodles in the broth. The reason duck skin is gonna work so well is because it has this like extra layer of fat. So it's gonna give it that like soft noodle texture. So literally mm. all I'm gonna do is throw this in here. You throw it. With the chicken or with the turkey. Nope, it's duck. It's duck. I'll try. With the duck. Shred it up a little bit and then season it with salt and just let it get hot. And that is all. So another tip is to protect from the blue lights. So especially if you're going to be watching like a movie or TV at night to <clears throat> distract your mind and how crappy you're feeling, make sure you don't have it on bright or you've got some blue light blockers on which will help you still get quality sleep and also avoid any like screen headaches if you're working on a screen a lot during the day. Which is why daytime blue light blockers, daytime blue light blockers. are mighty, mighty helpful. And then my mom, since she's the expert at all this stuff, she recommended, I think it's called like a neti pot? I'll put it here. I have no idea. I don't have this, but if you are on the market for some items to get, apparently this really helps bring in a lot of good air in to get a lot of crap out. So I would check it out. Thanks, mommy. And the final tip <laughs> is to rest which I know is hard, especially for someone who's like super active, but it really is important. Yeah, like, but so that's like a double-edged sword. So I've been sitting a lot today, but I wouldn't just like, I, I would say if you can get up, I would go on like a light stroll in your house to get some blood flowing. I wouldn't just sit literally all day unless like that's how you feel. But I definitely would avoid going to the gym. Very hard for me to say. <clears throat> really hope to be back there tomorrow, but yeah, so don't feel bad or that you're going to progress backwards in your weight loss or fitness or bodybuilding goals if you skip the gym one or two or three days just to feel better. Like, you will come back feeling stronger. So it's always... You will heal faster. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't like, tax yourself too much or you're never going to be able to fully recuperate. So those are the tips today in today's vlog. Another thing that I like to do, my mom suggested this, is dissolving about... One fourth teaspoon of salt in about half a cup of water. Is that for the, is that for the throat? That was pretty, I bet. And gargling, it helps soothe your throat if your throat is bothering you. All right, so with all of the extra dark duck carcass, since Sarah is drinking all of our broth, I'm just going to use this to make another broth. So just gonna cover this in some water and let it slow cook while we're eating. Is that how you make simple broth? It's, it'll be more like stock, you know? Stock? Yeah. So how long will it take? Um, I don't know. Just cover it with water. Okay, thank you. And on that note, the soup is cooking up. Behind the scenes of getting those money shots, she make her model work for her. She doesn't even have to do nothing. It just looks good. Yes. Oh yes, move inch. Good move. Yep. Nope, not quite yet. This is the one. Nope. Nope. Let's put the spoon. Props. Good. All right, that's going to be it right here. This is it. This is the shot. Good. This is it right here. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. This is what I've worked for. Yep. Nope. Okay, one more. One more. Moving over here. Better lighting. I totally agree. So this is the reality of being a YouTuber now, guys. I walk around with my headphones, and then you can't really eat a meal without telling Instagram what is on your plate. She's story. Put that on the story. She's story queen. Okay, so both of our meal number one today will be this duck noodle soup. So it's just broth, duck breast, and duck skin. And a plate of two over easy eggs, a little bit of like extra duck wing thing Ashley pulled out for us to chew on, and then some cod liver in its own oil. And I'm doing the same thing because if Sarah's not gonna have steak today, <laughs> then I'll do it with her and we'll have a poultry day. Equality, <laughs> fairness. Nice. Thank you the soup. This 
This is special. <laughs> so special. Duck fat adds such a nice taste to this. It's so comforting. And these noodles, these noodles taste, it has the texture of noodles. Yeah. Get yourself some duck. It's hard to find good pastured uh, quality duck we have found, so that's why we ordered from White Oak Pastures because they have really good duck. Yep, shameless plug. You can use code Strong Sisters. Guys, get yourself some duck and make this, please. Duck is honestly really good. Like this, the juicy meat looks like, and then those skin noodles. You get a little bit of crisp. You get a little soft variety. You get the best of both worlds, just like Hannah Montana. You guys made me take down my Christmas tree, but you can't take my Christmas sweater. Tip number three, wear a large Christmas sweater. Tip number four, these aren't, I, these aren't even tips. I don't know why I keep saying that. These are other items that I found um, that have sort of been helping me. So the initial part of a cold is a lot of throat pain, obviously. And so when I was going through that yesterday, I took some of these slippery elm lozenges. Um, <clears throat> apparently it just helps with sore throat. These didn't help as much as these did, but I'm going to explain these first. So apparently slippery elm bark is very good for soothing the throat. Um, it's very hard to find just straight up, like no other ingredients. So this one is not ideal. It has dextrose um, and sucrose in it. So ideally I wouldn't have this normally, but um, I choose to not worry about little things like that if it's in such a small dose. This one I found, so I found both of these at my local co-op, which is like a health food store. This one, Quick Blast Lozenges. Um, it's just got eucalyptus, peppermint, lemon, and a base of honey, so really not bad. You chew into it, they look like mini cockroaches. I don't like the look. But you, you chew into it and it bursts a little thing into your throat and like coats your throat with like a really nice minty, fresh feeling and it encourages deeper breathing and smoother ability to breathe and on that note another thing that i like to use is this chest rub not specifically walgreens brand but basically it's like that thick gunky stuff so when you're blowing your nose a lot it's getting really crusty um it's getting dry it hurts so i like to just go ahead and lather this under my nostrils <laughs> and it it, it, it makes it so it's not painful to blow my nose and that it reduces the chances of bloody noses, which I get a ton when I get a cold. Um, also, this has that same minty, minty essence and so it's encouraging me to breathe deeper. I could put it on my chest too, which is the whole point of the chest rub in general. N none of these things are necessary. I'm sure everybody and their grandma has a different opinion on using different supplements. But the reason I bring these, quote, a little bit more natural remedies up is because I went to urgent care yesterday. I literally thought I was dying. And the doctor was like telling me he's a old fashioned doctor and that even if I tested negative for strep, he would still prescribe me with antibiotics. Um, and I just opted out. I don't think that they're necessary, especially I just know it's going to run its course. I'm already feeling significantly better today. The fact that I can talk already is pretty cool. So I said no to that. So these are just other options you can have in your toolbox if you are feeling under the weather and you don't want to like run to quick fixes like antibiotics or any like typical things you see in stores are filled with nasty stuff. So I try to limit the nasty stuff. Hey yo, welcome to my room. Welcome to the crib. So Gus and Nelly, actually sleep in bunk beds so there's Nellie's crib there's Gus's crib but that's besides the point so my other tips are pretty they're probably like the most basic things in the world and people probably already know these things but um, some other things I, that have been helping me and that I like to do and that my mommy taught me is to have a rag that you put under hot water and then breathe take deep breaths into the moist rag or take a steam shower and that really helps loosen the mucus in your throat in your nose and then you can blow it out more easily i also noticed that sleeping with this little cute humidifier it's not turning on uh, you can see it's tiny putting this right by my bed breathing into it really helped because i like to sleep with fans on so my room is naturally just cold airy and that 
is worse for your throat. So having a little bit of humidity helps. Uh, of course, the ultimate thing to make you feel better. Why are you so, so far away? Is snuggling with the poochies. The poochies. I don't know what he's doing. That's <laughs> weird. As far as comforting yourself goes, I would say putting on like a TV series or a movie that you love. No shame in that. Lately, uh, Ashley and I really don't watch that much TV. Um, when we do our work at our second meal at night, we put on like background noise and for like the last few months that background noise was all eight seasons of Desperate Housewives but then we finished that and so we restarted Gilmore Girls so we're on season two right now. It's excellent. It's really, you do not have to pay attention to the show to know what's going on so you can focus on your work but it's really comforting to have that in the background. Um, but yeah, don't feel no shame in, in relaxing and letting yourself enjoy things like that. Other recommendations would be the Hallmark Channel. Excellent plots, excellent move. Like you just, every, you just have to watch them. Every um, movie is new. Every movie provides a new, just surprise. Um, they're excellent. I actually <clears throat> am wearing my Hallmark makes me, you can't see it, makes me happy shirt my mom got for me. Um, yeah, so that's another tip I guess. It's just kind of what I like to do. Another thing, I like Impractical Jokers. If you're looking for something that makes you smile when you're not feeling good, Impractical Jokers is a great, like, no, mindless, um, kind of like crude, sarcastic sense of humor show. I like it. Hi, Miss Marshmallow. How are you today? Okay, what was that? <laughs> This is... I... I am not sure. I am not aware of what is going on. That was beautiful! Choir practice continues. You're done? Nope. Alright, turning this off now. So like I mentioned yesterday in the raw dog food video, we sometimes source our dog food from White Oak Pastures. And so the doggos get to eat duck today with us as well. It's duck month after it's all. Duck month. Yeah. What are they having? Just ground. This is literally this ground duck. A ground duck. Ground duck. So then, like I mentioned yesterday, they get two to three percent of their body weight. They weren't very active today, so they'll be getting. You guys ready to eat? You ready to eat? All right, kiddos. You guys ready for your duck? Let's see you. All right, it is time for platter number two, and we're gonna add another food element to the things to eat when your throat hurts. Ground beef. Ground beef. Funny enough, even though we just were telling you guys how we don't really like ground beef that much, it's primarily because you don't have to like cut into it and do the work to bite through it. So like you kind of eat it faster and it's not as satiating to us, but overall there's nothing wrong with ground beef, so. Yeah, if you like ground beef, you eat ground beef. I will just take a chuck steak over ground beef. But today. And then, but today, we're doing the ground. Let's see what's on the platter number two. So we've got two of these. Zoom into plate number one. We got half a pound of ground beef from our full cow. Then we've got some of the, the rest of the duck breast, the remaining duck skin, raw beef suet, and then the next plate. A lot of eggs on here. I just see a lot of eggs. Three over easy eggs, and Oops. then we've got two soft scrambled eggs, and then some sauteed beef liver, and then I pulled some of the duck stock. So we're each getting about a cup of the duck stock. Everything seasoned with Redmond. It is indeed time to eat, yo. And for us to tune out, we will see you all tomorrow's vlog. Yes, yes. Until then, be like an angel. A angel.